Hey everybody, we're going to put a new fan in this projector today. This uh, was supposed to be here a few days ago, but the uh, shipping's been slow lately for whatever reason. Holidays maybe. It's filmed, uh, this is being recorded a little before Christmas. So let's make sure... Oh, we got some screws, and the cover, and the fan. Maybe we'll put this on even. Yeah, I think I might even install that. This is a slightly different fan. It has some extra blades. They're thinner, but they're swept nice, so they should push plenty of air down. We can get away with doing this because the... Uh, there's no tachometer lead here. And if this was a three-wire fan, this might be a bigger issue. It's going to go in the same way. It's going to go in there. Screws will lock into it. Uh, but like I said, I think I'm going to install that on top just to help keep debris out, fingers and whatnot, if anybody ever goes in there. So first things first, let's get the uh, lamp out. Plug that wire. That and this one. I will use the screw bin. Unplug the lamp wire. Let's slide this whole thing up and out. Slide the uh, let's slide that out. Let's set that out of the way. Now let's unscrew the fan. Move. Oof, that motor's dying. It stinks. Yeah, you hear that? Yeah. I don't know. Let's put a little uh, deoxid in there. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right. It's a little better. Let's get the fan out. So let's see. So it's the wire comes out in a different spot. Yeah, it's fine. But I do want to move these to protect this will protect the uh, center hub and this one will help protect the wire I'll just roll that in there <clears throat> pardon me Okay, so then this, let's see if I can, let's see if we can figure out a good way to position this. All right, that'll line up. I put 
that one in. That's good. Oh, I forgot to, uh, oops, forgot to put this on. Looking good. Then we have the last one. I will put the uh, ground under there. spin that way to blow the air down and then we will figure out a way to hook this together see how long this wire is maybe it'll can splice it back here somewhere set the uh, lamp I try something usually I set the lamp inside here first but let's try There, okay, good. So that does work. You can put the uh, lamp in first and then set the housing in. We'll plug our power connector back in. Slide that down. Now let's look at what we can do with this. does hmm thought about even soldering this one in but let's see that won't won't quite reach yeah I think we'll splice it somewhere here so let's cut that off ready. I offset them a little. There we go. 
Okay. Let's get in there. Get in there. And get that one. Now, let's see if I can one <clears throat> and I'm probably blocking the camera. Oops. Two. All right, both of those. And I forgot to put the shrink tubing on, damn it. All right. Shrink tubing and just uh, heat resistant tubing sliding on now. There we are. Negative and positive all right like it now we can insulate it tape that one and then tape this one I could shrink tube these but I'm gonna tape and shrink tube I just want to make sure it's got that 600 volt insulation, you know, good up to 600 volt. So I'll just get that down in here. Slide the shrink tubing over. There we are.
All right, we'll let that cool off and then I can start uh, putting it back together. Gonna get this tucked in here a little better, but I'm gonna do it out at the bench instead of with the solder thing. All right, I got that tucked in. Shrink tubing's cool. We'll just leave it with the uh, temperature sensor wire here and let's get all this stuff screwed back in. thread screw this one goes down in the power supply this is where playing operation as a kid really comes in handy we take our low voltage Then the rest of the uh, cage. Now one thing to keep in mind, when you're reassembling, you're going to have some of these guys, these flat screws, those are for the back, not for this. why they put this one on top it's probably easier to weld that stud in than it is to weld in a uh, a uh, set of threads you don't want to over tighten that because you'll rip the stud off okay now we're going to test it Put the back on now or the top it won't work just because we just want to make sure that fan works we have our startup it's booting it's ready for power fan fired right up nice and quiet color wheel lamp that was good And then I see a menu on the wall, that's good. So I'm going to turn it back off. As soon as it, there we go. You have to wait for it to boot up a bit before it'll turn off. That means we can put the uh, back and top on as soon as that fan cuts out. Now I get the old fan ready to 
either give back to the customer or throw in the trash if they want me to. I always try to return the parts just so everything looks on the up and up. You know, I don't want anybody to think I'm not putting new parts in if I say I am. Sometimes folks will do that. So I always make sure to give the old parts back or at least, you know, present them so they can decide if they want them or not. Just the right thing to do. Slide this on. I find that it's kind of starting it this way is good. There we are. Let's kind of give it a, a snug. That'll lock that bottom in nicely. Then, oops. There we are. All right. Then the top. And this is such a pretty projector. I love this red. I have no idea they made them in all these colors. Oh, something's caught. that clear there This one in. All right, it's pulled down. Motor's about dead. All right. See, I think that's popped up a bit. I don't like that seam. connector needs to be finagled into a better spot. It's, um, it's pushing up right here. It's causing that not to be a very good gap. Let's see what we can do. Do I need more wire?
that may give us the extra room that we need. See that? It was like that. catching There we go. Yeah, much better. Oh yeah. Infinitely better. last one then we'll bring it over to the test area and see how it does and we're good to go um i just ran it of course i forgot to turn the camera on but it had a picture with my raspberry pi test thing and all that good stuff so i'm gonna box it back up get in touch with the owner and get it on back to him and as usual if you have any questions about your sim 2 you know where to let me know and uh, as always, thank you for watching.